prayer, prayer helps. Yeah. And, it's, and it's been a couple of years. So a couple of years. So 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 for a, is this the first time in two years that that pressure's gone from your heart? Yeah. That's fantastic. Now, there's always a lot of interesting things to learn from healing situations. In this situation, this man uh, had heart pain, physical heart pain. Now, he speaks uh, gently and softly, so you have to listen closely. I turned the volume up on it so that you can hear him uh, a little better, but you gotta like listen closely. But uh, when, I'm, when I come across situations like that, I'll repeat, I'll often repeat what the person said so that somebody watching the video can understand because I talk loud. <laughs> so like I'll do that in order to help you understand what's going on more accurately. Now, now, uh, oftentimes when, when something like when you have physical pain, it often begins. In fact, I would say always the situation begins as a spiritual situation. And he, this man had had pain in his heart for several years from several things that had gone on in his life. Then you'll see some of the, you'll hear him say some of the things. Uh, one was that he was, he was in a gang and then he had a, a cousin that was also murdered violently. And, uh, and so spiritual matters, when spiritual matters become very intense, they eventually spill over into the natural realm and they become physical pain. So, so emotional pain in his heart became physical pain. And we see this, a, a good example of this would be in the natural realm, another example rather, would be uh, war. So like when, like a couple of years ago, we were, we were uh, if you were watching, looking up information on this on YouTube, you would have noticed that there was like sounds in the heavens of like trumpets and just lots of interesting sounds and in uh and people speculated on what it was i believe it was actually uh, tr uh trumpets were signified war okay and so i believe it was signifying war was beginning in the spiritual realm and what happens is when the war in the spiritual realm becomes so intense it at that point it spills over into the natural realm and we saw this several years ago with these trumpets people were hearing in the heavens, and now we're getting very close to physical war. So that spiritual war is about to spill over into the natural realm, and this is what happens. So when it's intense in the spirit realm, it comes into the natural realm, and then you've got two countries fighting each other, physical war. And, uh, and so keep uh, this world in prayer, and for uh, wherever you live, that... that that uh, the person in charge, the people in charge, would have wisdom to know what to do, how to handle the situation, because uh, God's will is not war. God's will is to establish his kingdom on the earth. And it's man that, because of man's disobedience, wars happen. And that's all coming to an end real soon when Jesus Christ returns and sets up his kingdom on the earth. Then they're gonna be beating their weapons into plowshares, as the word says. And so, uh, this man, he had physical pain, and, and so you see, you see, uh, and he had it for a couple of years, and it went away. So physical pain in his heart, and that's a that's a serious issue. You know, the heart is like that's the that's the life. You know, like your heart is beating. That's where the spirit of God, I believe, that's where his home office is. <laughs> when when you have the spirit of God in you, he's everywhere. So I have just as much of the spirit of God in my pinky as I do in my heart. He's everywhere. He's an actual person. However, I consider the heart to be like the home office of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> so, like, so like, it's a very important place. And and you know, people wonder. You know, it, this is why I don't understand atheists. You know, they they don't believe in there's a God. But you know, it's like, what makes your heart beat? Okay, how? Where's the power source of your heart that it beats year after year, your entire life? Where? where it's not plugged into an outlet anywhere. Right? So like, what, what's powering the heart? It's the spirit. And so it, every, you're really, you're, it's, everything starts in the spirit. The word also says that we live and move and have our being in him. And he causes us to will and to act according to his good pleasure. And so, and so if we're, we, we have this human experience, but we're being moved by a spirit. And this is why you want to obey God, because you don't want to be moved by unclean spirits. And so, 
the devil gets away with stuff often. And so that's why you need to educate. And so a lot of the videos, if you watch them closely, you see that there's, there's a lot to learn in these experiences. And so I like to use the videos as a chance to educate people that I'm ministering to and also the people that are viewing the video. And so there were two different types of uh, words of knowledge that were happening. I was getting a physical word of knowledge and Ahava was getting uh, more specific words of knowledge where you actually hear in, in your spirit things from the Lord. And so it was two, you know, the word of knowledge operates in two different ways like that. And so, so I was combining the word of knowledge with, uh, with wisdom and understanding and applying it to him in, that, in the situation to help him to understand and grow. And my wife was applying the word of knowledge in a prophetic way. So speaking prophetically in his life. And so there's a lot of interesting things that are going on in the video if you watch for them. And that's why I do this heads up type thing before you see the situation. And also, there's also, the Lord is also, um, a lot of times he'll put like little, tid, you know, little extra little gems of, uh, of a sovereign intervention within the video with his timing where, like for instance, where, uh, you know, a lot of times, well, I'll say, uh, I'll be saying something to somebody and then somebody will toot their horn, like as a confirmation or like the bells the church bells will go off as a confirmation and at one point Ahava said she was mentioning how the Lord wanted to bring peace and light into his life and as she said light there's I I forgot who had the camera at the time but the camera turned in its in a direction towards him where the sun's rays came flooding onto him on his head right as Ahava was saying light so like it's God God's like amazing how he uh, intervenes and controls and it's everything. He's like, he's a specific God of detail. That's the reason why we want to be diligent. We want to be diligent in all we do. And so I hope that this healing situation helps you and encourages you. It's a, every situation is a, a learning situation. And, uh, and so it's, uh, you learn spiritual warfare. So this man and anybody that's watching will learn more about spiritual warfare and Satan's wicked schemes and, and how to recognize what the devil's doing. And so, and now, and so, and also before you see this, don't forget to visit the description box of the video where I have links, including a link to become a member of Carl Box Church. You can read that statement of beliefs and then respond in an email saying, Tom, I read the statement of beliefs. I agree. I'd like to become a member of Carl Box Church. It's an online church. It's not meant to replace fellowship in a local congregation. I'm doing this in case you cannot find a local church near you that agrees in the same way that we agree in the ministry of the Spirit. Christianity is the ministry of the Spirit. That's what it is. I've said it over and over again. It's nothing we do on our own strength. That's why uh, you need to recognize that you have gifts in you. If you have the Holy Spirit in you, you have the gift of God, and he will manifest his power in many different ways through many giftings. And, uh, and, so you, and everybody has that. So you have to recognize that you have giftings, and so you need to learn how God is using you and then exercise that in situations so to help people to grow in the knowledge of the truth and know that Christianity is not some simple, simple, low level religion. It's not even a religion. It's a relationship and it's very powerful. So anyway, I got a little off course there. So and also there's donate links. I encourage you to sow into the ministry. Giving is a big part of the Christian life. Given it shall be given to you. That's etched in stone. It, it has to work. And so you combine that with living a holy life. In, uh, in doing the work of ministry. Everybody's a minister. If you're a Christian, you are a minister and you have a ministry. So you, well, even if you have a full-time job, you still have a ministry and you incorporate your ministry in uh, around your work as a full-time job or if possible on your work site w w with what you do is, uh, for a living. And, uh, and so giving is a big part of it in every way. God's always giving. And so the more we act like God, the more we're going to uh, understand and know God and find ourselves in situations to be able to help people. So God bless you. Without further ado, I hope this video helps you. That praying for peace is going to eliminate the pain also, the physical pain.
Because you said that you lost your nephew or your cousin? Uh, my cousin. And he was my he first cousin. But he was killed. Right. And it was horrific. Was somebody in the world. Okay. Well, you know, there was a reason behind it. It's kind of open me. Yeah, yeah. That's not what I wanted. Okay, and you believe in Jesus. Yeah, so Lord, I, th I thank you for my brother, Lord, that he's struggling with this. And, and I know Satan may even be trying to get him to be angry and, and, and hope and wish for uh, something that happened, maybe, to the person who did it. Like, you know, there's nothing wrong with justice. So you're a God of justice, but you want us to pray for the perpetrator so that that perpetrator will repent and not go to hell, Lord. And, and so he's not, he's not against justice and neither are you, but we need to keep our focus on the right way to address uh, situations like this. And so, and so Lord, he said yes to prayer. So he, he believes that what I'm saying. He just said yes to what I was saying. So I, he's in agreement. So, so Satan, you're a wicked liar. Get away from my brother. Or, or, uh, or stress go in peace to you. Jesus gives you his peace. So Holy Spirit, Bring the peace. Jesus, you said, my peace I give you, my peace I leave with you, not as the world gives. So do not let your hearts be troubled. I, I might have just like really messed up that scripture verse. <laughs> but, but you know what I mean. So uh, Lord, we thank you for this. Because like I felt your power for him before we started talking to him. So how are you feeling now, bro? You feel better? Is the pain going away, the physical pain? So the physical pain is leaving your heart. And how long did you have that physical pain for? It's been a while. It's been some years. Years? When You've did he die? Physical... He died over a, well, about a year now. It's been about a year. A year? Wait, but so you died about a year, but you've had physical pain in your heart for more well, than just, a year? Yeah, I think I'm going to do prior. Okay, so that just added to it. Right. And, and so, like, let's get this straight here, because, like, because I said praying for peace would eliminate the, the physical pain also. So the physical pain really is going away from your heart? Right. The pain I'm feeling, yeah. It's gone. Because, right. like, I feel something right here in my heart. It's not pain, but I feel something there, like, uh, like almost like a pressure. Almost like a pressure on my heart. Mm -hmm. So, like, was there pressure? You say that. Was it more pressure than pain? Yeah, and so like the pressure is diminished, but there's still a little bit of pressure. Still a little bit of pressure, but it diminished. Okay, that's what I'm feeling. So say this: say, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I let go of anger, I let go of sadness, I let go of worry, I reject all of Satan's lies. You love that man who did that crime. Say it. I love the man who did it. Yeah, and uh, well, I was saying, Father, well, he, he loves him. Yeah, yeah, and God loves him too. Right. Because he acted in ignorance. You know, uh, some people, a lot of people say, no, he didn't act in ignorance. Yeah, his family's told me it wasn't. It wasn't. But when I say. There's a reason behind it, it wasn't. Right, right. There's always a reason. Somebody always has a reason. Yeah. But when I say ignorance, I'm talking about. I'm referring to what Jesus said. When Jesus was on a cross, he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And so we have to look at all situations this way, as if the perpetrator is acting in ignorance. In fact, that's the way we want to look at all situations, so that if there is mercy from the Lord for that person, it's extended to that person. Now, I'm not, in no way am I advocating that every single person that dies goes to heaven. There's a heaven and there's a hell. For people that don't repent, they're going to hell. All right, but but we want to pray for forgiveness to give each person more time, and that's what we do. When we're asking the Lord to forgive somebody, it's giving that person more time on the earth to repent. It's not it's not saying that that person now is free to keep on living like the devil. No, it's giving that person the long run. Yeah, so right, yeah. right. So now, so so all pressure, Satan, you're a wicked liar. Get away from him completely in Jesus' name. Peace to you. Pressure leave his heart completely in Jesus' name. And, and I don't feel that pressure in my heart anymore. Do you feel it in your heart? And you're being honest with me. The, that little bit of pressure is gone. Because it's gone from me too also. And, and, and I feel more of the weight of his presence. Like, like I feel like a, almost like a, like a droopiness on me.
Do you feel that? I don't feel it. No, I mean, when I when I say a droopiness, it's not a bad thing. I, I mean, like, the peace of God, it makes you feel like, ugh. Allowing you to rest. Allowing you to rest. You feel that? Because you got to, like, you have to be really sensitive to the Spirit of the Lord because you can feel the Spirit's power in your physical body. And so you got to be aware of what's going on in your body when you get prayed for because then it, it helps to solidify your belief that, yes, this is real. So you feel that? So you would feel that this is, has, effectively, has effectively helped you and healed your heart? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. For, for help. Yeah. And, it's, and it's been a couple of years. So a couple of years. So it, so so for a, is this the first time in two years that that pressure's gone from your heart? Yeah. That's fantastic. <laughs> Bro, that's fantastic. Yeah. God yeah. bless you. You know what's interesting is that when you were saying that you that what you felt that you should pray for is peace, the whole time in the video I'm seeing that sign up there. I know it's a different spelling. Peace. Peace. And then and then when you start addressing the burden, the pressure, I'm facing this way and all the whole time the Holy Spirit is showing me the lights and I'm think and the word that comes to mind is let there be light. Yeah. You know? So those are the two issues that the Lord wants to introduce in your yeah. life. Peace and light. Yeah. And also oh, could you hold this for a sure. second? Yeah. One thing I did hear for you is that there are friends you I wanna get Corbo Box Church in the background. Yeah, stand over here. So we're, we want to bring yeah. attention to the whole idea. So this is what I'm hearing for you is that they're friends you need to let go of. You've been holding on to them out of loyalty. You you just feel like you can't. You can. Well, we, we kind of was in a game. Ah, oh, so that's, that's what it, it is. The, yeah, with the loyalty. Yes. Are you right. I'm telling you now, you, you're right. Yeah. I haven't holding on to them for, for loyalty. Yeah. So you got to let them go. It's you've got to let it go because your loyalty is to, is to the Lord. Lord. And in right. fact, when you first came to us and you were talking about the pain that you were emotional pain, I told you I was hearing loss, right? right? Yeah. Because I was hearing, but I didn't want to say the word death, but I should have. Yeah. But okay, so this yeah. is a time for you to let go of those friends. The yeah. Lord wants to surround you with the right people. That is part of the reason why you've been feeling heavy, because they're doing things that don't sit right with you anymore. Right. You've yeah. changed, and they yeah. haven't. Yeah. Yeah. You've yeah. got to let the change happen for you. Yeah. And when you come into maturity in the Lord, that at that point, they will see your life and you will be an inspiration for them, for yeah. some of them who are ready. Amen? That's a good word. <laughs> That's a good word, bro. And, and like if you've got those friends that are looking for your attention on a daily basis and every day you've got to pray, right. Lord, give me wisdom to know how to deal with this. Right. Pray for them every day. Rebuke the enemy off of them every day. Yes. And, and ask the Lord for the wisdom to know how to deal with, with them when they want your attention. Because right. the Lord, he's first right. always. always. So. God bless you. God bless you. He's got wonderful very plans for you. Situation, bro. Oh, you know, you no, can we go don't. on uh, the website, carboboxchurch.com. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's why we make videos, because we make videos to help encourage yeah. people. Yeah. Well, we, I don't consider myself... Well, yeah, my, well, my wife uh, yeah. does operate in prophecy, yeah. <laughs> because that was an accurate word, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah praise the Lord. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Awesome. God bless you. And you know why all this happened? Because the Lord has his hand on your life. Right. And he wants, he's yes. ready to yeah. accelerate you in right. it. No yeah. more shackles. Okay, cool. Amen. And, and so like we we, put the, we teach people on my YouTube channel. Can I use this on my YouTube channel to teach yeah, people? Because sure. it'll help yeah. so many people, bro. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Glory Amen. God. God bless you. There we go. God bless you, brother. All right, man. <laughs> You're awesome, bro. You are awesome. You have a great day. Pray right. on getting that job. Give Amen. him favor, Lord. Yes, Lord. You're going to get the job. Give him favor, favor. Lord. Because he, because you created this situation, Lord. You set it up. And I believe that your favor is now coming into his life. So put your words in his mouth when he's speaking to people. And let, him, let them see somebody that would be a great benefit to the team. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Glory. <laughs>